It's December, and that means many of us are dealing with the challenges of winter weather flying. Strong systems, fast moving fronts, low ceilings, and everything in between. Winter weather can sneak up on you quickly, and as pilots, we have to be able to spot those trouble signs right away. So this month, I wanna share a few tools and tips to help you on your winter weather flying with confidence. One of the best starting points is understanding the surface analysis chart. Let's head over to the Weather Prediction Center from NOAA and walk through it together. First, let's talk about what we're looking for. The surface analysis chart shows us a snapshot of the current weather conditions across the country. If you're flying in the winter months, your eyes should immediately go to where snow, ice, and freezing precipitation are being reported. Next, pay attention to the fronts and pressure systems. A cold front sweeping through usually means a sharp drop in temperatures and with that, a higher chance for snow or icy conditions. Low pressure areas are often breeding grounds for widespread winter storms, while high pressure areas are usually calmer, clearer air. Learn to spot where these systems are setting up so you can anticipate where winter weather could affect your route. Another thing the surface analysis chart can reveal is where you'll see low ceilings and poor visibility. In the winter, this often means fog, mist, or snow showers. Those conditions don't just make flying harder, they can make takeoffs and landings downright dangerous. Just taking a baseline look at what is going on in the U.S. today, we have several fronts. We have a cold front that's kind of sweeping from a low pressure point up in Kansas. We have a warm front pushing north and then a little bit of a stationary front. Up in Canada, we actually have a, a cold front occlusion. We have several isobars around, a couple troughs. Um, if you really look at it, which we can actually go over here and go to the radar composite where you can see an overlay of what the precipitation is. And if we go back to where we were, you're gonna see with the temperatures there, we actually have nice warmer temperatures with it. But that cold front sweeping through, especially through Denver, you're gonna see a lot of that wintry precipitation. With this low pressure center in Kansas, you can see a cold front sweeping through Oklahoma and Texas. We have a warm front sweeping through Missouri up into Illinois and Indiana. One thing I want you to pay attention to is, since we're getting into winter, is all of these temperatures associated with these fronts, you're more or less going to have precipitation, so that wintry precipitation can be in here. One thing I also want to bring your attention to is a bunch of the temperature and dew point spreads that you can see are actually very close. And now one thing we know as pilots is anytime the temperature and dew point is close together, you can expect lower ceilings, which you can actually see by these stations reporting overcast and fog. That is something we can come to expect whenever we have these temperature dew points on top of each other. Don't just stop at the surface analysis chart. Use it as your starting point. From there, check other FA weather products like the GFA tool and textual weather like METARS and AIRMETS. Together, they give you a complete picture you need to make a safe go, no-go decision. I also want you to utilize other flying tools for easier ways to find surface analysis charts like I'm showing here in ForeFlight. So here's the takeaway. With just a quick glance at the surface analysis chart, you can spot the telltale signs of winter weather, snow, ice, low ceilings, poor visibility, and start building a solid weather briefing. It's all about recognizing the patterns early and knowing how they'll affect your flight. If you found this helpful, hit the like button and subscribe so you never miss another M0A video. And share in the comments, what's your toughest winter weather that you've had to plan around as a pilot? We're going to keep this winter weather flying theme going this month, so stick with me and I'll see you next week for more tips.